Uh, let's come to standing. Let's go ahead and come to standing. Yeah, I've got my yoga props all over. I'm not, it's not clean, it's not uh, orderly. <laughs> all right, and I'm going to adjust. I got my yoga jeans on. <laughs> all right, so as we're here, let's, um, let's start out with where you take your arms, your feet are probably wider than your mat distance apart, like pretty wide. And you're going to twist. So like at first you're just looking forward and then we'll, we'll take it to a centering pose, but just kind of, and breathing as makes sense for you. Now, if, you're, if you don't get dizzy, then you're going to be turning. So you're following the extended arm and you're really looking to the space behind you. Just warming up your spine. Okay. And let's just say two more on each side. You shift, you shift, you shift. Sometimes it's kind of hard to stop doing that because it just feels really good. And then bringing your feet together, standing for a moment in mountain, hands are to heart center. Breath in, exhale. I'm going to um, step back just a little bit and then take hold of one wrist, lengthen, reach, really stretching through your side ribs. And you can look down, you can look forward, maybe upward. I prefer looking forward. Than that. Breath in, exhale, and then back to center. Lower the hands for a moment and take hold of the other wrist and stretch. Breath in, exhale, give yourself this wonderful stretch. And we're tapping into the inner calm. So if the mind is busy, busy with whatever it is, our responsibilities, our worries, whatever, let it go, let it go. The next hour, enter the place of inner calm and then release the arms. But, so we have also a breathing um, work. So you bend your knees, your feet are together, and we're going to reach your arms forward, round your back, kind of like you're tucking your belly in. And then inhale and elbows brush against the ribs, roll the shoulders back, look up, and then again, exhale and come forward. Inhale. And exhale. Now, when you come down, really drop down as far as you can, whatever feels good on your knees, maybe like you're trying to bring your head towards your knees. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale. It's all we can just do, um, it could be nasal breathing. Inhale. Two more like that. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, fully, complete the exhalation. Inhale, fully, and just retain the breath for a moment and release. Good work. Uh, so working with the hip flexors, some like to have, you know, you never know. If you have blocks, that might be nice. You don't have to have blocks. And knee padding might be nice because it's crescent moon, the best hip flexor uh, stretch and the best cure for if you've been in the car for a while. Uh, so I'm just saying right knee down. And again, if you have blocks, great. You don't have to. Um, if you don't have them, you're probably pitched forward more. Breath in. Exhale. Right hip flexor. If your right knee is down, right hip flexor. Good. And breathe. Exhale. Okay. So we're going to take our hands behind the back. So if you're tight, you might be way up here. That's fine. You know, so you're, you're going to the place where you can. You're going to clasp your hands, roll the shoulders back. Look up, arch, breathing in. 
exhale. And again, breath in, exhale. From here, let's add a twist. So, and then later we'll take our arms up. So if you want, you have your block or no block. Your hand can be down or hand on your block. And you're gonna lift the back knee. Of course, that's optional too. You're turning to the, towards the forward left knee and left arm up into the air. So you push your heel back, breathe in, exhale. And again, breath in and exhale. So we'll take the arms up now. Reach up, interlace fingers, press palms up, look up at your hands. Maybe even bringing your arms further back. Good. And release, we're going to step forward. So right foot comes forward and you have your blocks handy if you like them, use them or not, just take a moment, head towards your knees, breathe in, exhale. Some have enough blocks that maybe you could stack them, let your head drop down into the block. One more exhalation here. And then we extend. Your hands can be on the blocks or hands on the shin bones. Lengthen it out. Fold in, soften the knees, press on up. Reach, palms touch, reach back. And then we have our second side. So it's left foot that comes back. Left foot back, left knee down. And again, if the blocks come in handy, if you have them, stretching. So I'm pressing hip forward. Take a moment to reach, lift. Some don't use the blocks. And hip flexors. So I'm, so uh, Meredith was in a car for a long time and I'm going to be in a car for a while. We're, we're going to Mowich Lake, which is near um, Rainier, north side of Rainier. So, uh, and so this is in preparation for a, a long road trip ahead and breathe in. So it, it, the stretches work either way, right? As a pre or post need. And then we're gonna come back and let's uh, clasp hands and roll the shoulders back, look up, lengthen, send the base of your sternum up and breathe. And a twist. So left hand is down. It could be on a block. Of course, you can keep the back knee down. Do the variation you did on side one. What I will say is, if you're way up here, is it possible to drop down? Is it possible to be like really, you know, like you're hugging the floor in a sense? And you twist. To make the twist more intense, your, your left hand is closer to your right foot. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's lower, knee comes down, and the arms come up. So we'll interlace fingers, press palms up, look upward, maybe even drawing the arms back. Lengthen, and release. We'll come forward again, stepping left foot forward. Good. So once here, just take a moment in your forward fold. Your knees can be soft or knees are straightened. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the knees. Come on up. Reach the arms out to the sides all the way up. Palms touch. Arch back. And hands are to heart center. Alrighty, so I think the blanket might be in the way for this one. Uh, we'll do a few uh, squats and uh, always starting out with ones that are 
like universal <laughs> that worked for everybody and then going, you know, bringing it a little closer in. So heels turned in, toes turned out. And I just want to make sure I'm not leaning, but I'm pressing my thighs back. I'm not pressing them to the ground. I'm pressing them to the wall behind me. And you can shift side to side, lengthening your back, stretching the inner thighs, breath in, exhale. And again, breathing in, exhale. And then pressing on up, good. Then we'll come forward. I'm looking to the front of your mat. And you could always sit on blocks here, um, but I think this, this next block goes like this where I'm gonna drop down, my fingertips are down. I'm gonna to try to bring the lower part of my upper arm against my thigh. And pressing, fingertips, maybe it's fingertips down or palms down. And I have my fingertips down and I'm kind of sitting. I make a ledge to sit on, good. And, and you're, it's very doable because your knees don't have to, they don't go past that 90 degree bend in most cases and stretch your back, I feel like a big frog. <laughs> Breath in, exhale. It does, it kinda looks like a big frog, ready to take a big leap. Good work, and then come on up and lengthen, reach the arms up. So those were in preparation <laughs> for tree. And so it'll go tree to uh, tree to triangle. Uh, I'll face, I'll face you. So, you know, if tree is tough, your feet, you can do the kickstand tree. And some of you are coming way up high, foot to the inside thigh, hands to heart. And it's probably best, the pose is best when you're able to look out a window, breathing in, exhale. And breath in, exhale. So the stepping back, um, you'll swing the foot back and extend. Take a breath in. Now you're shifting, shifting, and when you come into your triangle, make sure you're not like sacrificing pose to reach your ankle. So it's as if you're against, like you have a wall behind you and one in front of you and you're fitting in the middle. And you could play with it. You could move your arms, you know, move your, um, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be stillness. Stretching. Mm -hmm. And then just invite the breath. Really think about um, which part of your body, you know, your torso is really open right now. Like for me, it's the right pectoral area. And you want to breathe into that part of your lungs, breathe into your ribs. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come up and we'll do second side of everything. So we'll come forward. And we have tree side two. Let's see. I have to think about that. Did I have? Oh, okay. <laughs> Left foot. I laugh at myself because I forget which side I did. So there you go. Pressing in. So this hip has to really be stable. And the glute is of the standing leg is very active. And breathe. Deep breath in, exhale. Reaching through the fingertips. So 
So this tree does not stand alone, right? This tree is a part of a, a yoga community and all of you, you know, we're like holding on. We're, we're breathing, rooting, part of one big forest. Yeah. And then release and the leg will swing back. The left leg swings back. There you go. And coming into triangle. So we're extending. Take a breath in. Exhale as you start to shift into your pose. And instead of forward, you know, really feel like you're, you've got a wall behind you and one in front of you. And you're sitting right in the middle. Mm -hmm. You can move your head around, you can move your arm, play with it. A few more rounds of breath here. And we're going to come up and then step to the front of the mat. And pause, hands are to heart center, nice breath in. Exhale, sunlight streaming in. Nice. Okay. So on this next one, uh, we're going to do it twice on each side. So what I would say is you might be happy to have a wall. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Um, you might be happy to have a wall. Um, let me see. Can you see my wall? I think so. I think so. Can you see when I touch that wall? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll be by the plant. Um, and so you might want a wall or you might not. Okay. So what I'm doing is this one leg coming up. Um, if I have one foot way back, I'm kind of leaning. It, it's more, um, it, it's more challenging when my foot is directly under my pelvis and the arms come up. If you want the ultimate challenge the second time around, I'm going to challenge us to be in the middle of the room, okay, with a strap, of course, or without. So it shouldn't matter which leg you take up, okay? Your arms are up in the air, some of you are already there. And since you have full support here, you've got the support, if you're at the wall, you have support of the floor, support of the foot that maybe it's on the wall or, you know, or a piece of furniture, <laughs> breathe in, exhale. And then we twist towards this raised leg. You're going to twist. So it could be that your hand is on your low back as you turn, moving from the navel, um, or you're extending. And when you extend, you're gonna look at your back thumb and breathe. I love this one. It's very powerful. Um, of course, doing it like this at the wall. I have a lot of support. Breath in. Exhale and release. And then stand for a moment in mountain, breathing in. Exhale. We'll do second side, then we'll take a, a counter pose. So the other foot. So again, I want to make sure can I have my foot directly underneath and reach the arms up? Extend. And then we twist. So hand to the leg, and I'm turning and turning and dropping the hip down, looking to my thumb. So you decide, do what you did on the first side, carry it over. Breath in. Exhale. Elongate. Good. I'm going to come out. And then as you come out, you know, like control the legs so it doesn't just go plump, flopping down. The counter pose will be either you could do a wall push. Um, if you're not doing the wall push, it's fine. You can do a forward fold. Okay. Um, as you're here, just take a moment. Uh, otherwise, if you, if you're up, if you're away from the wall, we are then you'd be done with the wall or you're pushing into the wall. So you're just stretching your back, breathing in, 
exhale. So yes, I promised you more, right? Standing balance, but there's also going to be one on the ground. So you're going to see, we will come back to that. that. Um, come to the front of the mat. Step back to plate. Step back to plate. Good. Come to upward facing dog. Your, your knees could be down, and if you want, you could, you could hold plank. You could come to side plank instead if you're not doing your arches. And look up and breathe. Stretch. So here's one, Meredith, and stretching hip flexors. Because it's not just the upper back, but the hip flexors. And we're going to press back. Come to child's pose for a moment. Let your head drop back, or your head dropping down. And then downward facing dog. And we're going to take the right leg up. So bend your right knee. Open the hip. Bend your right knee. There's another one. Quads and hip flexor, right? And the standing legs in your thigh. Breathe in, exhale, and lower. And other side, left leg comes up, hip opening up, bend the knees, and breathe. Send your knee up high. See if you can anchor down the heel of the standing leg. Good. Quads, hip flexor on the left side, uh, hamstring and inner thigh on the right side. And release. And again, drop the knees so we have the weight off the wrists. Bring your hands back by your heels and lower. Mm -hmm. So um, have a, a strap handy. You don't have to. Again, you can clasp your hands instead. But you might just want a little strap handy. We're coming on to the belly. And as we, you could be in Sphinx initially. Let's get your back really open. Hands pressing down and breathe. And then lower. And from here, again, you could always clasp your hands, or I just thought it might be nice with a uh, with this. So you'll kind of see, we'll do two ways. So you're rolling shoulders back, lengthening, feet stay down, and move your head around. Move your head from side to side. Your back is strong. Breathe in, exhale. Back muscles strong. What's nice about this is even if arching is really tough for you, this is um, not straining your back to go any one way. I mean, it's using your muscles to go um, where they can go. And then release and bring your forehead down. Pressing back to child's pose, stretch. You could, we're gonna repeat that. Now, you could do exactly what you did. You clasp hands, you could use your strap. Or, I'm, I'm laughing at myself because I was before class, I was talking, I was with my cousins in Italy, I was on the phone, I, we did a, a live call. And, um, and now I'm like feeling like I'm, I'm using my hands and, and uh, sort of, I don't know, I feel like I'm still speaking Italian to you guys. So we are making a sling, you're making a sling for, <laughs> and you can be like that, okay. And, um, Okay, they asked me if those were, were kind of like bowling balls. They don't know, they're like, are those bowling balls? <laughs> I said, no, they're glass balls. <laughs> and then, um, so here we are. And the, the wrist, um, the strap is at the wrist or the middle of your arm. And again, maybe you're like, I don't have a strap that does that, you know. And then you're going to lift. So you're just, you're, instead of clasping, holding, gripping, your hands are, spread wide, your hands are relaxed, and you're pushing your arms into this looped strap. And don't strain your neck, no point in that. Nice, strong back breath in. Exhale, this will later help us when we're in our standing, um, standing balanced twist. And release, good work. Again, press back, stretch into your spine. Child's pose. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to shift. I have you a little everywhere today. You're going to shift onto your back, okay? And maybe you can take left hand, right foot, or maybe that loop you just made is going to suffice. So it's left hand holding right foot or holding the loop. And exactly what you did at the wall, this is exactly what you did at the wall, and then we twisted. But like right here, you're taking your right leg over to the left, you're extending your right arm, see if you can get your shoulder down. This right hip might want to curl up, keep it down. And the big difference is now you have a floor to kind of guide you. What is your back doing? You don't have gravity, you've got gravity as your friend here, holding you to the ground. You don't have to balance, therefore you don't have to use all your leg muscles in that. But you certainly have the stretch piece and you, you have the configuration. So your body knows it can get into this. Breathe in, exhale. Imagine that your left foot is on the floor. So you get flex it. And imagine that your right foot is on the wall and your left arm is reaching to the middle of the room. Good. Come back to center. Hug the knee to chest. And maybe even holding your foot, lift your head, head to knee. Try to engage your core. Really engage your core as you no longer hold the foot, but you reach. And release. Let's try a second side. So strap or no strap. Left leg is up in the air. Shoulder blades are down. Breath in. And exhale. We're gonna hold the loop with the opposite hand, so or hold right hand, left foot, come across. You're turning, turning your head to the left, left shoulder down, and breathe. So maybe adjusting your pelvis, take a moment here and breathe. Yeah, and you're noticing, you know, imagine that you're standing at the wall right now. Your right foot would be on the floor, so it's left because it's pushing. And then your left leg would be pushing into the wall, your left arm reaching to the center of the room. And come up. And it's uh, align and hug the knee to chest. Lift your head, good, and breathe. Exhale, then let go and reach. Good. And release, good. So we're going to roll up. Soles of the feet together, lengthen, breathe in. Exhale. Lower, reach your head towards your feet. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale. We'll take the left leg out to the side. A right heel coming closer in, if your knee is okay with that. Uh, left ankle flexed, and then twist. And take a moment here as you twist. We're, so, so the option is you could stay as you are in the twist. Or your right hand is right beside your right hip, 
and you start to press up. So when I do that, I always readjust. So how do I readjust? I, you know, I kind of want my knee more under my hip. So when I come up, what I sometimes do is I draw, drag my foot forward so that I can reposition myself. It's a side bend movement. Or if you're looking up at the sky, you've got this, you know, more of a, it's a side bend movement, but also um, get into your hip flexor of the straight leg an arch and come on out mm -hmm. and then we'll do second side so from here lengthening and twist i'm thinking of elise who's in this session and uh, and how you swim she does a lot of swimming in the lake in lake washington and how beautiful these poses help with the swimming because they you know help to really open up the torso release stretch the ribs give your arms length um, give you reach yeah and tone toning the arms now stay here or start to come up start to come up reach 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 extend breathe so it might be more of a side bend or an arch where you look up breathing in exhale Good. And release coming out. Soles of the feet are together. And just take a moment, be upright. Breath in. Exhale. And once again, breathing in. And exhale. We will look at, sorry, Wally, <laughs> we'll look at boat and um, what, you know, just to know that it, it's amazing. I mean, you could, you, some of you are in boat already. When I said boat, you like popped into it. <laughs> okay. And others are like, okay, how are we going to do this? So, you know, you could just be here and little pulses. I mean, that's, that's core work. Okay. Um, you could start to bend your knees and be there. You could straighten, you can hold, you can you know, really align. Um, wherever you're at, push out through the ball of the foot if your legs are in the air and breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more, inhale, exhale. Good. And from here, across the legs, we're coming back through downward facing dog to standing. So coming forward. Hands are spread wide. Press back, elongate. It's the same configuration <laughs> as boat. It's just the, the whole different feeling, different relationship to gravity. And then walk to the front of your mat and pause. Breathe in. Exhale, soften the knees. Reach up, extend, lift. Arch back and hands clasping and reach. So, yes, you can be at the wall again. Now, finally, we're going to, you know, reach into that one. Okay, you can use a strap because I know it, it can be intense. Maybe you're reaching for your foot. That's fine. And what I will say is, Engage your core already. When you're lifting your leg, think, ah, oh, I'm going to engage. And you're going to loop the foot. Have your knee bent for a moment so you're engaging. Because even if I weren't using a strap, I'd be holding the foot. And then extend. You could wrap the strap around your hand so it's not going to slip. You want a really good grip. Very nice grip. I'm gonna grip. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I want to grip. So I have. A, I want a really nice grip. I made a loop, and that really works. And then from there, I don't usually use um, a strap, so I don't want to destabilize. So I'm turning. I'm gonna relax my shoulders. I'm going to extend my arm, and maybe look back at your hand, and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. 
So release the leg. The leg that was up in the air is gonna swing back. And you have prayer balance. Another twist. So this is the, the last set of twists. So, so. so what happens is my heel is up, my left knee is, so I went from up, back, but some of you are at the wall, so you have to readjust. Right arm up. You can always make it easier by having your knee down and coming to prayer balance. Hands are together or back knee up and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Let's unwind, come forward, take your strap, <laughs> reach up. You can take your arms up into the air, brought the strap with me, and hands to heart. Second side. So it's the left leg coming up, and I know some of you are using a wall still. That's good. Fine. So again, when I grab hold, I'm gonna, you know, really, I want a, a tight loop. It's going to be the right hand that's going to hold, right? So breathe in. Exhale. Oh, left. Yes, right hand holding. All right. And then from there, I'm bringing my left hand on my low back. I'm going to start to turn. It's balance. Breathe in. Exhale. Turn. Extend. And breathe. Ah, I need to hold. So sometimes I feel like the strap can, hmm. you have to really hold that strap. If you feel like it's gonna slip out of your hand, it won't work. Breath in, exhale. Coming out the foot is going to swing back, or you'll adjust on your mat again. Do the variation you did before, left arm across right knee. You're doing beautifully. Palms are together. Breath in. Exhale. Open, open across the shoulders. Outer hip release, low back benefits from this. Release, step forward. Soften the knees, reach, no strap and arm this time and reach up. Bend hands to heart. So we'll go wide, a wide, wide forward fold. And I think after all those twists, it's kind of nice to just like uh, take the spiral out. <laughs> so hands are at your thighs and push back and then bring your hands down. So instead of shifting forward, I'm gonna shift my weight back, walk the hands forward, lower your head, stretch into your back and breathe. Deep breath in and exhale. So your sitting bones are up, neck is released. Walk over towards your right foot and lower your head towards your knee. Lengthen, get a lot of length in your spine. Walk across towards your left and lower your head towards your knee and breathe. And back to center. Hands onto the low back, coming up. Good heel, toes, heels, toes, Heels, toes, heels, toes. 
So it's a quad stretch and you might want a wall. You can hang on to a wall as you reach and we're trying to bring heel towards buttock or you could be in the middle of the room. Doesn't matter if you go left or right. So, uh, and we'll take it step by step, eventually making it dancer's pose. So first we'll just do quad, side one, side two. So I have my heel and instead of my elbow out to the side, I'm gonna try to draw my arm back. So from the front, instead of elbow like that, I'm trying to draw my arm back. And it might be that both hands can reach. Elbows bent and breathe. and then draw knee to chest. And second side. Grabbing hold, left foot, left ankle, heel towards buttock, and get my left elbow kind of wants to bow out. It's, it's funny how it does that. Draw the elbow back and maybe both hands back and hold. And my knee wants to go out to the side, have the knee down. Good. Balance looks good from what I can see. Mm -hmm. And release. So again, you could use, there's, there's a part two, I'm gonna use a wall, and a part three uh, for dancers pose, and part three in the middle of the room. So we'll just see how that goes. Um, great thing is that, Again, I can emphasize more of a quad stretch, more of a back arch, more of a shoulder arch. Like you can really bring that, you can customize this pose. I would say the more balanced you are, you're using the wall, the further you will be away from the wall. Kick, um, since I'm at the wall, maybe I'll reach for the inside foot. So then I can try more like keeping my hip squared. And for me, I'm getting a quad stretch. When I drop down, I get a back stretch, shoulder stretch. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Breath in. Exhale. I'm kicking the foot away. And my hand's working really hard to hold the foot. And release. Stand for a moment in mountain. Breathing in. Exhale, okay. and I have a second side. So I'm gonna, I'll just be in that same spot, I'm visible. So I'm gonna, how far will I have to be? I'm gonna reach for the foot first, and then reach for the wall. Maybe I'll hold the inside foot to try to keep hip square. Come into the pose, feel all the places inside of you that are happy, <laughs> and breathe. and release and come to standing in mountain, breathing in, exhale. Give it another go here. <laughs> okay, so if you, we're gonna do another one, but if you prefer at this point, you could do cat cow, cause next we're gonna be, we'll be on hands and knees, we'll do something from cat cow, okay? From tabletop, like on hands and knees. So it's up to you. If you're like tired of third, what was wrong with her going into three? So I'm holding. And, you know, before I said hold the inside because it kind of does help square. Um, though I did learn to hold from the outside. There are different styles. So I'm used to holding on the outside. I balance better from the outside. So I'm reaching, kicking the leg, reaching one arm forward, Look ahead of you. Don't look down. Breathe in. Exhale. Come out. Hug the knee to chest. Your counter pose. 
second side, holding the foot. So you can see like I, I want the movements to be slow, methodical, I want transitions to be smooth, coming into the pose, smooth, breath, smooth. Find your inner calm. Come out, hug knee to chest. Come to a squat, modified, or hands down, or dropping all the way down into your squat, stretching your back. It's a nice counter pose. Breathe in. Exhale. Lengthen, inhale, and exhale. So we come on to the hands and knees. You might want your blanket at this point. So some have done cat-cow already. Some will do cat-cow now, rounding. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. If you've been doing these for a little while, you might move into, you could keep doing them or move into these circular movements. Just circle. And it's up to you. Maybe you can really circle back and arch into your back. Let your neck completely relax. and reverse the circles. One more. And then from here, we are going to Come right onto the backs for bound angle. So from bound angle, soles of the feet are together. I want you to just make a few adjustments before you really settle into the pose. So like, um, can I, you know, how can I stretch into my back? How can I let my knees be really wide? Uh, Hands onto belly, connecting to your inner calm, tapping into your inner calm. And noticing how your belly expands on the inhalation. We're going to take hold of the right foot and the left leg will extend. And just take a moment. You could go, you can move the foot, you could stay center or you can move the foot around. Like when I take right leg over to the left, I stretch the right outside hip. And then take your leg up in the air and just circle and circle and circle and circle the opposite direction. So, of course, the obvious is oh, working through the ankle, but you're also letting limb fluid move down and back towards your heart. Let's do the other side. We can start out from bound angle. Start out in bound angle. Hands are to heart. Or, sorry, hands are to belly. Breath in. Exhale. I'm going to interlace fingers, press palms up overhead, full body stretch. 
and then take hold of your left foot, bound uh, half half lotus. Right leg starts to extend, and maybe moving the leg a little, holding. You know, find the place where it's like, oh, that's it right there. Where does the hip feel best? Bend at the elbows, draw your leg closer in. And then straighten the leg and just make circles. Circle, circles. This is really good if you, well, I don't think anyone's taking any long international flights right now, but when you do, legs up in the air and just really moving the ankle gets, helps with if your legs swell up. Okay, and then from there, we have um, bridge and happy baby. Those will be our last ones. So feet are flat onto the mat. You're lifting and lifting into bridge. So you have this nice opening to the hip flexors. That's another counter to if you've had to be sitting for a while um, in, a, in a car. Usually it's in flight, long flights that the legs swell. I don't think it happens as much in car because you can stop. You can get out of the car and walk around. Um, so there you are, you're pressing up, really pressing your pelvis up and feet pressing down and breathe. Lower, feel your strong back. <laughs> and then take hold of your feet, take hold of your outside feet and so the arching, side bending, twisting, forward bending, you got it all. So, you know, feeling very free right now, I hope, very free within your body, strong and free. So we're going to extend the legs and, you know, your arms could do a number of movements here like you could say, for Shavasana, maybe you're like, oh, hands on belly, one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Traditional palms facing up, 45 degrees per side, or arms out at a T. The one I tend to, uh, oh, I surrender, or arms like a star, I call it a star, like a victory, a V. <laughs> and wherever you're at, you are, experiencing the inner calm that we have been cultivating. And it's kind of like putting your feet in the stream of inner calm. So like you're, you're just, it's there. Maybe it was there all along and all you had to do was unearth it. Or maybe you had to do a little magic and a little shifting around to find it, to establish it. Take time. To relax your entire body. Clear your mind. Nice breath in. Sometimes I think tapping into one's inner calm is like walking into a forest. Is like being in a very special place, a meadow filled with wildflowers. Standing before waves of the ocean. And maybe tapping into your inner calm is 
of being in the desert. Or seeing a certain view, a certain vista. So let your mind's eye see a place of inner calm. And that place is resides inside of you. And breath in. Exhale. Continue to relax your feet, your ankles, your calves. Continue to relax the entire spine and feel that good sensation of flow unimpeded energetic flow through your spine, your body. Feeling held, feeling held by the earth. Feeling wrapped in the arms of gravity. Feeling sustained by the air. Feeling fed, nourished by oxygen. feeling enriched by our beautiful yoga community as we practice together. Feeling fed by prana, life force. I'm going to have you just slowly start to deepen your breathing. And when you deepen your breath, you, you know, if you're in your seated meditation, you slowly open your eyes. If you're lying down, you move around a little bit. Um, and gradually make your way to sitting. And then, uh, If you like, you can turn your video on. Uh, some of you have it on already and, and turn your audio on if you like. And you can join me for an ohm. I've gotten used to these ohms. <laughs> like the, the uh, mic picks up who's ever ohm is, I don't know how that all works, but it, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Very nice. All right. And uh, I think there were a total of 15 or so today. So it's, uh, it, it, some have left a little earlier, 16. So a smaller, our little smaller group here. Um, let's do our ohms and just imagine that your ohms are filling my room, my studio, and my ohms are filling your home. Okay, so the, the ohms are definitely reaching out. So take, let's do three in here. Oh, 
Namaste. 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 Namaste.